Hi, I'm Will Tudoroff with Chicago Electric Company of America. I'm here at the Magnatex Pump Company where we've set up one of their brand new units so we can simulate various vibration problems. For example, we're going to take this pump, we're going to misalign it, we're going to put a soft foot in there, we're going to unbalance it, we're going to get a hold of that valve, we're going to crank down on it so that we cavitate the pump, and then we're going to finish off the day by taking a drill bit and making some nice score marks on the inner race of the bearing to damage it, to simulate a spall or, or a, a fatigue type of wear that you would see. While all this is happening, we're going to be taking vibration measurements with the Zark that's mounted on the machine. And we also have a couple of wired sensors, 4 to 20 milliamp wired sensors. The Zark is a full frequency vibration device. And we're going to show you the difference between the diagnostic information you can get from a Zark as compared to just what a 4 to 20 milliamp sensor gives you. All that's going to happen right here with our friends at Magnatex. Now let's turn our attentions to machine dossier. Here's a picture of our Magnatex pump with the Zark mounted on the inboard bearing along with the two 4 to 20 milliamp sensors. Above we have the word inboard which we can click on and drill down to the actual data collected. First thing we'll do is zoom in on that day that we did the baseline and we see that the data fluctuated between 0 0.016 inches per second and 0 0.02 inches per second. That's an overall vibration value. And to really look at the baseline, we need to get into the spectral data, the individual frequency components that were collected and that made up that overall vibration number. So we'll click on the right-hand side of the screen under Spectrum, and we see our baseline spectrum. First thing we'll do is add the harmonic cursors, and that allows us to easily see which components comprise this spectral data. Most of the vibration is occurring at one times RPM vibration, with a little bit at two times, and then a few other frequencies and some broadband noise scattered across the spectrum. This is exactly what we would expect for the baseline on a brand new pump. A little bit of unbalance and a little bit of misalignment, but all the values are very, very low.